In this video I'll show you the mechanism of the Adimalt Cifrex. These input levers are connected to these toothed uh, segments and those are connected to the main register through an intermediate gear. So when you move a lever, the gear moves in the same direction. If I press the, uh, this input clearing button, the whole section of input levers moves backwards, releasing them from the rest of the mechanism and allowing them to be uh, returned to, to the beginning through a spring. This input display register at the front is connected to the input levers through uh, metal wires. The, the carry mechanism of the main register, those are uh, handled by the uh, intermediate gears. Each intermediate gear has an extra uh, arm that uh, triggers the next uh, digit to uh, to, to move one step each time that its own wheel passes nine. And here's the, uh, the clearing lever. It uses this, uh, this bar at the front. These, these gears have uh, one tooth missing so that in the normal rest position it's disconnected. But when you turn Turn the clearing knob, it moves and all the numbers are returned to zero. The most interesting part is what happens when you switch to subtraction. In this, in this, it, uh, this mechanism looks a bit like the resulter. And what happens is that the uh, main register moves back up towards the uh, toothed segments and the intermediate gears move out of the way. So in this configuration the clearing the input levers directly drive the main register without the use of that intermediate gear. And this causes them to move in the opposite direction. So that was the mechanism of the Adimalt Zifrex. Thank you for watching.